morning everyone this is one of the most fun and exciting parts of beekeeping is all these little queen castle things and creating more queens I'm gonna check up on this one I peaked yesterday uh, two out of three have mated queens I couldn't find a queen in in this box it could be because she was out taking a mating fight I checked yesterday afternoon and I'm just curious and I kind of want to share how exciting this part of beekeeping is and how simple and easy it, it can be these came from a hive that swarmed I stuck an extra frame in. I took two frames of bees from each mother hive, one with a queen cell, one without. Pull this frame first, because that's the one that's no comb on it yet. I just stuck it in there, it's brand new. These little boxes are very tight. Oh wow, they've already started drawing honeycomb on them. Amazing. They're starting to make the honeycomb. And that frame just got put in there yesterday. It was new. Right here you can see where there were queen cells that aren't queen cells anymore. I keep getting rid of this bird comb. I don't want them to make it any bigger. I have to go get boxes and make bottoms and tops so I can expand this hive into a big beehive. Hmm, I, I don't see a queen. I'm gonna have to look some more. If there was one in here yesterday, she could be out flying to get mated. There's the queen right there. Let's take a look.
right here under the blade there is the queen bee she's nice big long one I don't know if she's starting to lay eggs yet, so I'm going to just leave her be. But that is nice to see that you got a new one, new blood. But she's obviously made it very long, nice looking abdomen, tail, whatever. It's a beautiful thing to find a new queen like that. Let's see what this one. I'm not using any smoke. There's so few bees in one of these little mini colonies. These are starting to work on it. They just haven't got this far along. These young queens are very flighty and they tend to run away from the vision of you. Here, I just saw her. Here she is. There's it. Right by my thumb. And she's on the run. That's what young queens do. They run away from the sun. He probably hasn't started laying eggs yet, but it's close. So that's two. You might ask what kind of queens. Uh, they're mutts, is what I'd call it. But they have a strong tendency towards carniolium. This last foot just doesn't have quite as many bees. Let's just see. This one still has a queen cell that hasn't emerged, so I'm just kind of waiting. Maybe it came out. They're not even working on this hardly at all yet. It's okay though. It's just in there so that they'll have something to work on. This one I think could use some more bees. They're crawling up to see what's going on here. Well, this thing's heavy. Could be that I spot a queen that wasn't here yesterday because she was out flying. See right here's the you see how this queen cell has like a little flap? That means that one came out. 
at least. She could have flown off and gotten eaten by a bug or got lost or I really don't know. We're just gonna find out. Now what I could do for these bees is to get another frame like this with some fresh larvae and let them build another queen cell. And if I wait a little while, that frame will be in over one of these, it'll be that close. Here's the other queen cells, two of them. This hive obviously had some queen activity, but I just don't see it. I'm going to look again. There's only two frames. There's the queen cell that's active still, right here. Still looks like it's alive. Maybe they killed it. I don't know. When they tear it down, you'll, you'll know they just tear it up. And that don't look tore up. It looks like they're guarding it. So maybe their other queens flew off and didn't come back. So let's just wait a while and see if that one could be just Give this guy another week. I just don't see a queen bee on there. I don't see one on here either. Here's a queen cup. Nothing in it. It's hard to believe you'd have three separate beehives all in one box, but there you go. That's what this is. And one seems to not have a queen. They're not roaring at me though. Usually a hive that's hopelessly cleanless would just be buzzing like crazy. And these guys seem to be just okay. So let's just give this one a wait and see. The two out of three ain't bad. What I could do is wait until these other two queens lay up to brood and then swap around kind of thing. Or even just take the queen away and then they'll make more queens. I could do it uh, one more time before summer's over, probably. Or two. Let them just keep making queens over and over. They can do it. If you keep it supplied with uh, plenty of young bees. Which isn't too hard. Uh, that's how it works. Two out of three ain't bad. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.